Warning, this guide contains weeb content and is rated PG. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, even though not many of you have it, I'll do a unicum guide for it, because probably most people that bought it are scrubs. The VK90.01P is a collector German tier 10 heavy tank that is as rare as Hitler's brain in battle during World War II. This tank got raped during the Christmas auctions, because apparently it already sold out within 6 hours of it being posted in the list. Out of the 5000 players who bought it, I can tell the reason why it sold out as fast as the fall of France during 1940. The reason why 1000 Unicum Purple players who are actually good bought it is because it's good for tournaments and pub stomping 10 year old squeakers in their IS7 or T110E5. They play it good, so they make their purchase worth it. But the reason why 4000 10 year old squeakers bought it was because it's just German. And everyone in the game basically loves German. Because you know why. When this tank showed up in the tank auction last Christmas, the squeaky 10 year old stole their parents credit cards and bought the tank thinking that it will be a tank that is more OP and impenetrable than the Morse and the IS-4. But they are all fucking wrong, and even worse, they will suck playing at the tank and are stupid. And even worse, their parents are gonna cry because their kids use their life savings for a tank that they don't even have a brain on how to use it. So don't be surprised if you see a VK90.01P and looks and is driven by someone who sounds like 10 years old and plays like a scrub. This is good for you because now you have a big thick meaty meat shield that you can use to farm your purple points and play like a ridiculous cheeky bastard. The VK90.01P, much like every other tank that Wargaming puts in the game, didn't exist in real life much like your wife on your anime. This tank is a favorite of everywhere a boo German tank lover that jerks off to German tanks on the other monitor. Apparently because this thing, much like every other German heavy tanks, has thick armor. And much like everything German, fucking stupid shitlords think that they will be OP and invincible in every game much like the German army was in the 1940s. For people who missed the auction, the way to get this tank is simple. You either wait for the thing to hit the stores for gold, or wait for the blitz fair during Christmas time. And as soon as the tank hits the shelves, you buy it before 10 year olds get it. Ironically, even though this wallet warrior weighs 70 tons less than a morse, it has better armor profile that can eat each shells unlike Hitler's wet rings. Side scraping is also better, because you have 10 degrees of gun depression. You aren't as big as the morse, which is basically the reach stack on wheels. To describe the VK90.01P, it is faster than the Morse, which is weird, again. But despite it, you can get to places on the map without a problem. This was achieved by Hitler finally forcing Göring to finally move his fat ass and have a leg day while on steroids. 
Your armor is like your waifu. It has boobs and jiggles around ridiculously. Which means that your tank can bounce shit effectively, as long as you angle enough times. Because you're jiggling, boobs will bounce shots for you. The VK90.01P has a gun, which is a high-powered German sniper rifle which can shoot shit like hell. But you don't play this tank to snipe. Instead, you play the VK90.01P aggressively like any other normie weeb finding his waifu that doesn't exist. So you become the epitome of a hentai protagonist to go forward and rape shitty idiots. So you can throw epic 12.8 centimeters keen shells at their faces. If you wanna be good at the VK90.01P, even though you don't have it, this is how you play it. You get rammer, improved modules and improved optics. Next you get enhanced gun laying drive, improved assembly and improved control. Next you get vertical stabilizers, toolbox and consumable delivery system, again. For provisions, you get chocolate, chocolate bar, and improved fuel. For consumables, get an automatic fire extinguisher, a multi-purpose restoration pack and a repair kit. You load mostly AP, then APCR and HE. After that, go and make more strivers jealous. To play the VK90.01P, you must have played the VK45.02P, which is basically its tier 9 counterpart. Thanks to its improved armor on the sides and lower plate, and the turret without a tumor, the VK90.01P has reliable armor that can reliably bounce shit whenever you go forward or side scrape. The VK90.01P can do anything that the Morse can do, but only better because you have a much faster top speed and a better frontal armor and smaller turret, as well as smaller turret weak spots, which means that stupid shitty idiots would have a hard time trying to aim on your turret weak spots even with gold. You use this to your advantage, so you can jiggle your big bubes and bounce shit. You do it all the time. So you can rack up bounces. You take advantage of dumb squeakers who think that the VK90.01P is a pushover. <laughs> the VK90.01P can trade, brawl, snipe, and go hell down, as long as you can get your turret at 45 degrees. You also have a better gun depression than the Morse, which means that maps like mines are going to be your favorite, because you are already angled and can bounce shit so well while hiding your crappy lower plate. You do this and drive back and forth so they can't try to spam gold on your weak spot. Its gun is a German high-powered sniper rifle that can pull off sick shots that are complete bullshit. Your tank also has good frontal armor, which means that anything that rams you will be totally hilarious and ridiculous as fuck. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Despite your armor being so damn good, you can still use the ultimate unicum tactic of using stupid idiot teammates as meat shields. So scrubs can't shoot your lower plate, and that you can side scrape effectively. You do this all the time to perma bounce every kind of shit they throw at you. You don't expose your lower plate or charge the enemy. If you want to charge the enemy, there are other tanks for that you know. When some dumb fuck plays a tank with strong epic armor, you say fuck it and spam gold like a real unicum. And watch that stupid idiot go lol. When you feel like being any other hentai protagonist, you go in and only do this. To have an epic Vogstrom crew, drive a medium tank and focus on smooth ride, smooth turret Travis. Then get firefighting, repairs and close combat master when driving a heavy tank. Next, get camo, smooth turn and clutch braking when driving a TD. And last, train soft recoil while driving a light tank. After that, you go out there and show the world German engineering superiority. And that is how you play the VK90.01P, so you can dominate and not play like a squeaker. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below on how you think of the VK90.01P. Click the link on the screen to watch other ridiculous Unicom guide.